A few months ago, I checked out the Lapdog and Turret, Corsairs and Razors respectively, solutions to the supremely first world problem of not being able to have an optimal keyboard mouse gaming experience on the big screen TV from the couch. Tragic, I know. Anyway, the conclusion of that video was that my ideal solution probably lies somewhere in between the usability and ergonomic compromises of the small, sexy, but cramped turret and the lap dog whose size makes it more like having a Great Dane stretched across my thighs than any miniature canine that I've ever encountered. And I guess Rocket was watching that video going, well, what the heck, Linus? That's basically our product. Because they reached out almost immediately after that one went live, asking me to take a look at the Sova MK. So let's see then if it solves the problems that I've had with other lapboard solutions. Cooler Master's Mastercase Maker 5 features their freeform modular system allowing you to customize, adjust, and upgrade. Make it yours at the link in the video description. We'll begin with the physical tour. The bottom of the sofa has four removable cushions. They're pretty thin, but they work well enough, so I don't think I would try to 3D print replacements for them. But being able to clean them is still a bonus. Also down here is a single proprietary breakaway USB connection with a 4 meter lead and a couple of USB ports for other peripherals. A mouse and a headset come to mind. Flipping the unit over, about 40% of the top is taken up by a 275 by 240 millimeter hard plastic composite mouse pad. Another 40% is taken up by the 84 key TTC Brown mechanical keyboard. And the last 20% or so is taken up by what might look to Razer and Corsair like wasted space, but what ended up being the difference maker for me an ample wrist rest that let me use the Sova MK comfortably for up to three hours at a time. Compare that to 10 to 30 minutes on the other two. And okay, yes, I know, you're not supposed to rest your wrists while you type on a keyboard, but do you honestly type like this? I mean, okay, let's say you do. Do you game like that? Get real. While on the surface, the Sova is quite similar to other lap boards and to Corsair's offering in particular, for an ergonomic product, the devil is in the details and the wrist rest is just the tip of the iceberg for me. The next big one is the inclusion of a 10 keyless rather than a full width keyboard. I mean, sure, you don't have a number pad for tax accountant simulator or whatever, but it definitely solves more problems than it creates. One, unless you're the Incredible Hulk, it brings your hands closer together for a more natural posture. Two, it makes typing much more comfortable and more accurate since the home row is somewhat directly in front of you. Three, it not only fits on my couch so I don't have to sit on the crack between the cushions, but it allows a lady friend to sit on the couch with me while I game without looking like she has some kind of a restraining order. And four, when your lady friend wants to use the couch for something other than gaming, its smaller dimensions make it easier to stow away. And there are more little details. Rocket opted for two plugs on the PC side rather than a wall-powered hub. This does lower the combined power draw limit for all the connected devices versus the lapdog, but along with that breakaway cable, it makes setup and teardown faster and easier, improving wife appeal. The wrist rest and mouse pad are theoretically replaceable, which is cool, though I haven't seen anything actually available yet, and the rail system along the top promises 3D printable accessories like cell phone holders, and the included wire management system is really clever. It holds the cable as well as Corsair system, but does it without tools, so you won't be tearing your hair out looking for an Allen wrench if a buddy needs to borrow your extra mouse. The keyboard also, continuing with things that are good, feels surprisingly good and key to key consistency was surprisingly strong considering that they're using a Cherry MX Brown clone from a company that I actually hadn't even heard of before, TTC. I'm not personally sold on the tactile bump on the W key, 
but it's a minor issue considering that the layout is otherwise very good considering how little space they had to work with. The arrows are correctly spaced and easy to landmark to thanks to their edge position. The media keys are a must for couch use, and I think that every keyboard should require a modifier to turn on the caps lock. Thumbs up there. So then if it wasn't clear already, I like this product, and I think it's the best in the category so far, but that doesn't make it perfect. Mouse drift, when you take your hand off of it, is still a pretty annoying issue, though I don't know how they would resolve this without creating a special mouse with some grip on the bottom like Razer did. But personally, if given the choice, I would prefer to be able to use my own mouse with it, so I don't have a solution. And there's nothing that Rocket can do to fix the bigger issues with couch gaming, like poor UI scaling in games that weren't designed to be played from 10 plus feet away. But if you're willing to deal with those things, and you're willing to pay for it, I think the Sova should be $20 to $30 cheaper than a lapdog and 10 keyless keyboard, not more expensive thanks to lower switch costs and cheaper materials once they offset the development cost of a custom keyboard for it. The Sova is the best couch gaming experience yet. Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. You never have to speak to a robot. You get put through directly to a person, which is worth its weight in gold. But you pay only for what you use, so none of that gold bit. The average Ting bill is only $23 per month per device. If you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they will cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to $75. They are now lowering mobile data rates across the board. Data is now just $10 per gigabyte beyond the first gigabyte. Every single Ting customer will be able to reap the benefits of this new change. So head over to linus.ting.com and try out their savings calculator to see how much you can save with them. Also, when you sign up at our link, you'll get $25 in service credit or $25 towards a new device. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured at Amazon in the video description. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next, so click that little button in the top right corner to check out the video that I made on the Corsair Lapdog and the Rocket, Rocket, Razer turret. <laughs>